guys so back with another video now I've been wanting to do this video for a while I just haven't had the time I'm going to try and recreate one of the hairstyles in my intro know the beginning where I'm shaking my hair at the back that was a twist out on blonde out hair but that was when I had my corrective cut um Miss Erlette Pender had just cut off my aunt so my hair was very healthy then <laughs> it was shorter but it was extremely healthy it had been freshly washed freshly blown out um my hair has been blown out now for about seven days so yeah so one of the things that i did do um was i set my hair a couple of days before i took it down and i use the miel organics is it miel miel or miel organics line the pomegranate and honey line we have her leave-in conditioner along with her twisting souffle i really do love both of, both of these products together and i did moisturize my hair two days ago look at the thickness look at the health girl i'm my biggest fan <laughs> <laughs> who are you kidding I am my biggest fan so we're going to go ahead and pin my hair up and um let's get started this is what the back is looking like now I did trim my hair again recently I probably will not trim my hair again until the end of the year or as needed um at this point I'm good with trimming um yeah so we're just gonna take down I don't think I need any, but I'm gonna add, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add some leave-in. So, I don't wanna unravel too much because I wanna try to keep some of that texture there. You see that? So my pump isn't working, y'all, for some reason. I don't know why. So we're gonna take this much for that section, smooth it through from root to end. And I'm going to break this up a little bit smaller than this. Now, it still is cooler here in Phoenix, so I can get away with moisturizing my hair two days in a row um, because of the weather. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit more leave in, just a little. Then I'm going to go in with this much of the styler. A little bit more, why not? Now I'm just going to comb out my ends just to make sure that my ends are very secure. And we're just gonna go ahead and twist now, I'm not going to add the perm rocks today. I got stuff to do. I ain't got time to be looking crazy. I got errands to run. <laughs> but I will be adding the perm rocks the second day, meaning tomorrow. Um, I want to make sure these ends are looking okay. All right. Even though I'm going to be adding a perm rod, but still. All right. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spiral the perm rods when it's time. And we're gonna do this. We're not gonna go all the way up, okay? All right, you guys. So I'm going to continue to twist my hair in the small to medium to small twist. And yeah, one thing I wanted to add is I probably should have added some moisture before adding the leave-in conditioner and the styler just because um, I think that would have helped out a lot more towards the end. But I didn't want to have a lot of shrinkage, which I did anyway because of the perm rods. Um, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm going to continue to twist my hair. And yeah, we're going to see how this turns out. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga!
right, you guys, so I'm working on this last section here. Now, I did end up leaving these twists in minimum three days. As I stated in my previous videos, I rarely set my hair in twists and unravel the next day. You're just not going to get great definition, especially if you're in the four type category. I don't mind wearing wearable twists. Um, there's plenty of styles you can wear if your hair is long enough um with your hair in twist so yeah i don't mind so this is what my hair is going to look like coming up here in a second with my twist all done i had about 25 to 30 twists and the night before i added these gray prime rods i did not go all the way up to my scalp because i wasn't looking for that type of look you always want to keep in mind what you want your end results to look like or what to be and hopefully it will turn out that way um so i'm gonna take my time taking out these perm rods i'm going to unravel and then separate <laughs> you guys so you saw earlier in the clips that I use a little bit of hair oil to help reduce frizz now one thing I do want to mention is that I added some hair gel to my hair when um, uh, adding the perm rods I would not be using this particular hair gel again with this line I used the new wet line extreme gel the very new formulation and I had quite a bit of fallout look at my top uh, girl, it was snowing in front of the desk, but once I started to separate and fluff up, you really can't tell, but I could literally see almost like a cast, um, breaking apart, dusting. And so, yeah, I wouldn't recommend, you, you see that even? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend pairing these products, um, together, but overall it is going to work out. Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am done. This is what my hair looks like. It is so soft, by the way. Yeah, I had more definition on the original, but that was done on fresh hair. Like, it was only a couple of days old. We're looking at, now this is 10-day-old hair. I'm going to turn around to the side and to the back, and that is it, everyone. Yes, you guys. So, I'm ending this video with a couple more clips of what my hair looked like. I was able to maintain this hair for another two days. Bear in mind, my hair was extremely old in this particular video. Um, and the original video, it was only one to two days old. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>